So very recently, the guys over at J Patrol did an interview with the Xenoverse 2 producer and some new information has been revealed. I'll leave a link at the very top of the description if you want to check out the original video. So firstly, they mentioned that after you complete the story mode, there will be a special feature which may allow you to alter the history in a different way. Maybe this will give us a chance to finally play as a bad guy. Next, J Patrol asks if giant encounters will be playable this time around and sadly the answer is no, but he says that if there is enough demand for it, this could very well change. In the next question, they talk about the avatar transformation mechanic, Awaken Power. They mention that in Xenoverse 2, there will be various transformations for each race you choose. So this pretty much means that each race will get at least two transformations. They then talk about Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue and at the moment they're not adding them because of balancing. But again if there's enough fan feedback they will consider it. Next they talk about the social spaces such as Namek and Freezer's spaceship. I think this part's really cool because they said each race will have a social space unique to them. So for Namekians it will be Namek. For the Freezer race it could be Freezer's spaceship and for Saiyans it could be the capsule core place that we've seen in the anime expo trailer. I don't think these locations will be exclusive to the race you pick because we've already seen a Saiyan go to Freezer's spaceship and the Capsule Corporation. During another question, Masayuki Hirano says that they are creating a place where fans can post their requests and feedback directly to them. So if there's a feature you want, start making a list so when they reveal how we can send feedback, you'll be ready. They go on to say that the start of Dragon Ball or Goku's childhood will not be in the game and not all of Dragon Ball Super will be included as they started working on Xenoverse 2 before Super aired but of course we've already seen Resurrection F content because that was part of Z but just don't go expecting the Universal Tournament arc. Next they asked how has customization for created characters been improved. He mentions that one big feature is the Awakened power and something completely new is that they are giving us the option to use different types of energy blasts or key blasts. Whole Hopefully this also means we can change our fighting style and change the colour of our auras. They then talk about what the advantages are of transferring your Xenoverse 1 data. They say that your Xenoverse 1 character will appear in the Xenoverse 2 story mode which we already knew and that we will be able to pick which character we want to transfer. So this means we can pick whichever character we have in Xenoverse 1 and it doesn't necessarily have to be the character that you used to clear the Xenoverse 1 story for the first time. He then says you'll be able to carry his design over and the outfits he wore which I'm assuming they mean the preset you have and a portion of his attacks as well and I'm kind of confused as to why they said attacks because we won't be playing as the Xenoverse 1 hero unless we unlock him later on as a sort of legacy character or maybe we fight against him who knows they then say that they understand how hard people who played Xenoverse 1 worked to get all of the outfits and attacks and that they don't want us to necessarily start over from the very beginning. So depending on what you unlocked from Xenoverse 1, they will give us in-game currency. So we will then be able to repurchase certain attacks, outfits and items that we already had in Xenoverse 1. They do mention a lot more things that we'll talk about in this video. So the final thing I'm going to mention is that they ask about Xenoverse 3. Yes, Free. And what they basically say is that they want people to play Xenoverse 2 for a very long time, as in for a minimum of one year. And one way they plan to do this is by adding free DLC updates. And that is going to do it for my video. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, the link to the J Patrol video will be at the top of the description and I strongly recommend all of you to check it out. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.